In this video, we take a closer look at hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing. Let's start by looking at hexagonal close packing, or HCP. Remember, a hexagonal close pack structure is comprised of close packed layers stacked one on top of the other in an ABAB format. Rotating the structure so that we look down on top of one of the layers, we can see hexagonal features like a honeycomb. To better understand a hexagonal close pack structure, I'm going to remove some of the spheres and isolate a single hexagon. Cutting through all the layers in this way, we can see a hexagonal column has been excised from the structure. A hexagonal close pack structure can be thought of simply as an assembly of these hexagonal columns. In fact, Materials that crystallize in HCP often exhibit a hexagonal crystal habit. In other words, the crystals themselves look like hexagonal columns. Notice that the ABAB layers in the column are defined by layers of hexagons and triangles of close pack spheres. A key point here is that all the triangles are oriented in the same direction. Okay, now let's look at cubic close-pack structures in the same way. Remember that the close-packed layers in a cubic close-pack structure are assembled in a way that can be defined as A, B, C, A, B, C. Rotating the structure so we look down on top of one of the layers, we can see again these hexagonal shapes. However, to understand why this structure is called cubic close-packed, I'm going to isolate a different feature. This feature is a cube. We are looking at one of the corners straight down the body diagonal of the cube. Let's shrink the size of the spheres so they're no longer touching and we can see a little bit better what the shape of this feature really is. We can see that there is a sphere occupying each corner of the cube. In addition, there is a sphere occupying the center of each face of the cube. Paying attention to the colors of the spheres, we can see the arrangement of the ABC-ABC layers within the cube. Materials that crystallize in a cubic close pack structure often exhibit a cubic crystal habit. These include halite, sodium chloride, and fluorite. Okay, now let's just get rid of the colors for a moment. I'm going to color all the spheres gray and let's have a look again at the structure. There are spheres occupying each corner of the cube and each face center of the cube. For this reason, cubic close packing is synonymous with face-centered cubic, or FCC. This is a point you are expected to know. CCP and FCC are identical structures. The reason for the two terms really has to do with context. Cubic close packing is easier to remember if you're talking about layers of structures, whereas face-centered cubic is easier to invoke when you're talking about an individual unit cell. For the purpose of this course, you can use these two terms interchangeably. Let's end this video by looking again at the difference between hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing, this time in a slightly different way. The ABAB packing of hexagonal close pack structures gives layers of hexagons and triangles repeating in columns. By comparison, the ABC-ABC packing of cubic close packing gives layers of hexagons, triangle, triangle, hexagon, with the two triangles oriented in different directions. In both types of structures, we can excise a piece that is a triangle, a hexagon, and a triangle stacked one on top of the other. The big difference here is that the two triangles 
are oriented in the same direction for the HCP structure and the two triangles are oriented in opposite directions in the CCP structure. Hopefully, putting these two structures side by side in this way really helps you understand what the fundamental differences in structure are. Next up, we'll look at octahedral holes and tetrahedral holes in close-packed structures.